goodbye. In the general relativity, we count all the energy of a mass. It ought to be, in the Einstein theory, the mass that we desire to consider in its energy, multiplied by the square of the light speed. But multiplying this mass by a speed line, which doesn't consider the energy that is contained in the transversal plane of expansion of the M mass, we see immediately that it is a slight fault. In fact, here we are not in the same condition of a force as it is in the second dynamic law, where the force is the mass in its free acceleration in line. In the second dynamic principle, this is without any force, since the mass is not considered in the transversal expansion, but only in that which is acting in the only one line of its real movement, just like the force of that mass accelerated until the extreme limit of the light speed squared. But the whole energy of a free mass certainly is more than that of the mass exploding in the only one positive direction. In fact, all the energy of a mass is that belonging not only to the action but to the reaction to. In fact, by the second, the third the dynamic principle, we have as energy the couple action-reaction and not only the action of the mass. While the square of the sea light speed represents this action reaction interaction interacting in the line of the electromagnetic flow considered C as this and C as the opposed direction and so we have the interaction in one line, this interaction is completely latching in the plane, the electromagnetic plane, that transversal to the electric flow, because it is energy that is well balanced when the mass is not exploding and that does not enter in action in the case of the force until to seem to be not also to not exist in the case of the energy for this case cause the general relativity is a law that represents the energy only like the extreme limit of the force of a mass when its acceleration has got the extreme limit of the light speed squared. By consequence, this energy cannot represent all the energy of that same mass, all the energy 
belonging only to its three-dimensional explosion. That exact limit only of the real action of that mass when it is not in explosion gets its rule, gets its own extreme limit only by the introduction also of the quantity of its reaction, which is latching and is belonging only to the transversal and electromagnetic plane. Since the couple action reaction that is not yet considered is uh, the interaction between n rise to 1 as a space of the unit and n rise to minus 1 as a time of the unit, we have only to multiply the same m mass first by n rise to 1 and afterwards to add its multiplication by n rise to minus 1. Since m multiplied by n rise to 1 plus n rise to minus 1 is equal to the only one multiplication of the m mass simply by the sum between the action and the reaction, the transversal action-reaction will be not their multiplication, but their addition, n rise to 1 plus n rise to minus 1. In this addition, the unit of the space, whose formula is n rise to 1, imposes the n base as a 1. On the contrary, the unit of the time, whose formula is n rise to minus 1, imposes to the n base all the ties, all the bonds that are attributed to the unit of the space-time representation. The bonds are the unit 1 of the mass of 10 raised to minus 3 quantity of the space must be made by 10 raised to 3 unitary masses. Bond 2. The one cycle in line of the space must have the same 10 base of the time unit. Bond 3. The one movement of the 10 rise 3 masses in the 3 direction x, y, z must, must be valued 3 times 10 rise to 3. Bond 4. The one movement of 10 masses of one only line in the 10 power of every mass must be 10 rise to 10. Bond 5. The one reality, 10 rise to minus 4 of the reality, must be made by 10 rise to 4 units, 10 as time and 10 rise to 3 as space. Bond 7. The one electric reality must be 10 rise to 4. Bang 10 rise to 3 multiplied 10 by rise to 3, all its complex movement in 10 rise to 10. Bond 7. The one magnetic energy must be 10 rise to 5, being 10 rise to 5 to the electric energy. Bond 8. The one interaction between the electric cycle 10 and the magnetic one must be 10 multiplied 10. Bond nine, number 9, the one movement of the 10 unitary cycle electric 
must be contained in the quantity 10 multiplied 10 as 10 multiplied 10 that is 100 minus 10 and equal to 90 by consequence 1 uh, multiplied 10 rise to 3 is all the mass 444.4 is the reality 1 plus 3 there is a mistake eh? time plus space in the four dimension 3 positive space plus 1 decimal time bond number uh, bond number 5 0.09 is the real movement of 10 in its interaction 10 multiplied 10 as the bond 9 0.0005 is the electric reality as the bond number 6 0.00005 is the magnetic energy as the bond number 7 10 hundreds is uh, the atomic reality of 10 rise to 4 angstrom angstrom is the unit of the atom as the unit of the bond number 5 3 multiplied 10 rise to 3 is the atomic movement of 10 rise to 3 atomic masses in the three direction of the space as the bond number 3 finally 100 in atomic dimensions is the electromagnetic interaction 10 multiplied 10 so the mass m is always multiplied by the sum of the n rise to minus 1 dimensions of these n bonds so it is multiplied by the sum of the bonds and it is the number uh, red colored 1 divided by this number is uh, the unit of the time so the m mass of the general relativity of Einstein must be multiplied by the sum of 1 that is the unit of the space and 0 0.00069 etc that is the unit of the time so in one only operation the mass must be multiplied by 1.0006922 etc if 1.0006922 etc is the unitary transversal section of the unitary electromagnetism existing in the section and we have by result exactly three limit a volume which has three dimensions as a space x y and z equal one and the time t unitary three every one time the unit of the representation that Einstein said having three dimensions as space and one dimension as time this simple question to you if uh, the space-time has only three dimensions as space and one dimension as time can uh, the absolute speed be different from 3 to 1?